Paul Krugman. Not sure if you saw his recent tweet about uh, how calm the world was after 9-11, but Paul Krugman said, overall, Americans took 9-11 pretty calmly. Notably, there wasn't a mass outbreak of anti-Muslim sentiment and violence, which could all too easily have happened. And while G.W. Bush was a terrible president, to his credit, he tried to calm prejudice, not feed it. Daily behavior wasn't drastically affected. True, for a while, people were afraid to fly. My wife and I took a lovely trip to the U.S. Virgin Islands a couple of months later because airfares and hotel rooms were so cheap. But life returned to normal fairly fast. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a whitewash. Just a shout out to a uh, friend of the show, Jim Zogby, who re- tweeted a great response to this, um, starting with Dam. Dam Paul Krugman, next day I received first of many death threats. We had police protection for weeks and three went to jail for those threats. I testified before for USCCR gov about the murders, beatings, firings of Arabs, et cetera. We were in fear and it was real. Don't whitewash history. The the thing that, this other thing that's just been happening, like just in my personal life is that I've gotten, I, every year I get one year older and I'm now like, so I'm now like 40 years old and have been, you know, pretty, pretty politically conscious since the late 1980s. Cause I was a, I was a precocious kid who was, yeah. um, who was into all this stuff and wanted to understand the jokes that were being made on Saturday night live. So I would read, um, I would read political stuff and it, I am at the point right now where I was an adult when major historical events happened that I am now hearing a version of the story of those historical events that does not in any way line up to what I experienced at the time and what I know happened at the time. Like I was, I was as, I was as daily a consumer of news, even because like, like back in the nineties, it was all through magazines and newspapers, right? But you could still get magazines and newspapers. You know, the nation existed, New Republic existed, National Review existed, Weekly Standard. You could you could get this sort of the the panoply of of political opinion and commentary. You just didn't get it instantaneously through tweets. But you, if you right. wanted to, you could follow politics like on a pretty daily basis, which I was doing. My my degree is in political science, and so listening to people talk now about. 9-11 specifically, the response to 9-11, um, the Bush years generally has just been like, so it's, it has, yeah. it has been, it has been a fascinating lesson and exercise in, and then of course the lead up to the Iraq war, you know, I mean, people talk, you know, like, well, nobody knew it was going to be that bad. It's like, right. dude, I can, we all knew it was going to be that bad. We're all saying it. And you called us a bunch of children who didn't know right. what we were talking about. Whereas you were, and you were the very serious people to even right. to the use one of Krugman's own phrases. Right. Um, and, or to be told that uh, George W. Bush uh, engaged in a massive project of national unification to bring everybody together. And it's like, are you kidding me? Like him and Carl Rove sat down and turned it into a partisan wedge issue by like, you know, later that night, yeah. they were figuring out how to beat the shit out of Democrats for um, 9-11 issues and terrorism issues. Right. And I mean, I will say, because like, I was there for this too, like Krugman is not wrong in the sense that um, you, Bush definitely did not do what Trump would have done, yes. which is to really be like and Muslims are, yeah. yeah, like well, Muslims are an evil and we got to get them. Right. Bush, Bush never did that. And that is true. And I, I don't give, you know, this is- He just did get them abroad. Right. And that's, oh, yeah. I mean, that, right. that's, yeah, yeah, that's and, that, and that's ultimately, I want to I get to that. Yeah. Like, don't, don't let me forget to say that part. But I know we are trending very closely when it comes to Bush and like the 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 drill tweet, which is like you don't actually have to hand it to him, right? Like right. you not actually have to hand it to George W. Bush because there was plenty he did wrong. Um, uh, mainly, and I was I and this is one of those things where I, I did a podcast with Patrick Wyman, who does Tides of History, and this mm-hmm. is one of those nice times where we get found and people are like, "Oh, why why are you talking?" Because I disagree with you. I'm a Republican. Um, and uh, and we were talking a lot about the difference between this moment in history and like what happened after 9-11 is that 9-11, what, what America does when something bad happens is we project our rage and our fears and our anxieties out onto the rest of the world. Like we yeah. just, we project it. We go bomb things, we missile things, we invade things and all of our anger and angst and um, and fears and doubts and like everything that, every bad feeling that we have about something. We took like, so with 9-11, we took every traumatized instinct 
that was that was uh, sort of kicked up by 9-11 and we just blew it back out tenfold onto the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Americans, yeah, what did we do? And Bush told us to do this, go shopping, right? What, right. what do I need you to do? I need you to keep the economy going. So go to the shopping mall, you know, just keep going to movies, just like nothing bad is happening. Just pretend like everything's right. the same. That's why Condi mm -hmm. was shoe shopping uh, during Katrina. You're, mm -hmm. Trying to do her best, yeah. Yeah, these notions like, oh, it was very calm here. Now I, you know, the fact that Bush tried to tamp down on anti-Muslim sentiment, yeah. um, at least officially in his rhetoric, uh, Anti-American, yes. I mean, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. But that doesn't mean that that anti-Muslim, <laughs> um, that those anti-Muslim threats didn't happen and didn't right. occur, right? Or I mean, killing, like, or, 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 or yeah. yeah, or that people, or that people were, uh, people were assaulted, people right. were threatened. Yeah. Um, and then mostly, though, what happened is that it was so calm after 9-11 because we started blowing the holy living crap out of Afghanistan. And then yeah. we invented a war in Iraq and we yeah. invaded and conquered a whole other country. And that made Americans feel a lot better. So we didn't have to right. do any of this other stuff. Yeah. And, and the difference now with, with um, sort of the crisis that we're facing now is that all the bad things are happening to us. And there's not really, I mean, I mean, Trump has sort of made this attempt to make it China's fault, you know, and call, mm -hmm. it, call it the Chinese virus and, and maybe whip right. up some, some anti-Chinese sentiment and blame right. it all on them. Um, but it hasn't really taken. Right. Um, but yeah, that yeah, there was, I mean, and even like there was the Patriot Act and all these things. I almost think that the, the liberals became or more disappointingly Islamophobic or more disappointing, not more Islamophobic than the Republicans or than Bush, but like, well, they, I feel like they didn't do their part to, to tamper down or to kind of make it clear that this wasn't about Islam. Well, you know, yeah, that, yeah. And there was, there was a moment. Okay. So if you fat, even if you fast forward from nine 11, there was a moment in, this must've been around 2010. Okay. Cause it was after Obama was elected. I think it was those midterms of 2010. Mm -hmm. And there was, I bet you remember this, right? There was going to be a mosque that right. went up near 9-11 right. or went up near the site. Yeah. Yeah. And, it was, and it was like, it was a controversy. Yeah. And it was like, ooh, can we have this mosque near the site of 9-11? Right. It's like, and it wasn't even going to be a mosque. It was going to be a Muslim. Yeah, we, exactly. Yeah, it was like a community. MCC, but MCC, yeah. Right. So, and then, yeah. and then even, even Harry Reid was like, I don't think this yeah. is a good idea. And, and Howard it, Dean too. Right. And, and then, I yeah. know who worked for Howard Dean um, quit over that. Okay. Yeah, sure. I, 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 I was, I was very, I was very disgusted with this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Because, you know, I, and I, let's say that I do have these sort of like, um, these liberalish instincts, like I believe in freedom of religion. I believe yeah. in freedom of speech and the press and like all this right. stuff. And if you, if you sit there and say that the end result of nine 11 is that we can't put, um, anything related to Islam near, the site of the 9-11 crash, that's saying Islam did this. Right. And it wasn't yeah. Islam that did it. Right. It wasn't. It was, it was some, it was uh 19 guys, 19 yeah. Saudi Arabians, and who we still do um uh endless yeah. amount of this business is, with. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it's like the people who did it got away scot-free, right? And everybody else paid the price, up to and including just some New Yorkers who happened to be Muslim. Like, yes, right, right. Or Sikh. That's the big irony is that the biggest people who get the blowback often because they wear turbans are Sikh people who yeah. aren't even, Mus you know, so that's a mm -hmm. whole other thing. But yeah, no, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, like Abe Foxman, not surprisingly, from, you know, ADL, Anti-Defamation League was against it and very bigoted about it. Um, he actually had a really interesting tell, which was, what was it? It was like, just like Israelis or I have to find it. So. But he basically said people are allowed, entitled to their irrational bigotry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it go. was such a like, oh, this is how you this is how you justify a lot of things that Israel does, Abe. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, that's another thing. And p feel free to use me as your Jewish human shield in case you get any flack for that. Oh, um, thanks. I will. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's always, um, always, always useful to have in yeah. case you know, Barry Weiss comes after me. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that'd um, be great. 